On March 10, 2023, the New York City subway system began a 30-day acceptance trial for the R211A subway cars. The trial simulates real-world conditions, which is necessary to ensure the train does not have a malfunction or a mechanical failure. The trial also assures the safety of passengers and train crew. You may be wondering, what is the R211? The R211 is a revolutionary new subway car with many new features, including wider doors and improved electronic wayfinding signage. So why might it be a failure? While the R211 will be revolutionary in helping improve the accessibility, capacity, service, and comfort of the subway system, the price tag of the new subway cars is profound. While the base order's $1.4 billion price tag for 535 new subway cars may seem like an extraordinary sum at first, it's actually quite reasonable. Let's cross the Atlantic and examine Transport for London's rolling stock purchases, specifically the British Rail Class 345 for the Elizabeth Line. At roughly $1.3 billion for just 65 new Class 345s, TFL's cost per rail car is a staggering $19,500,000. Compare that to the MTA's 2,600,000 cost per rail car ratio, and the price doesn't seem too bad. The R211 subway cars will create a more efficient subway, whether it's through wider doors that shorten dwell times, open gangways that increase capacity, or the pre-installed CBTC modern signaling. CBTC is short for Communications-Based Train Control, which uses transponders located on trains that broadcast exact location details and speed to other trains nearby. This is different from the current wayside signals, where dispatchers don't know the exact location of the train, and therefore have to space the trains further apart. CBTC enables trains to run closer together and run autonomously. The Staten Island Railway will receive the R211S, a special variant designed to accommodate the shorter platforms and special conditions on Staten Island. The R211S test train was delivered recently, but I don't have a photo of it. By the way, your last chance to see the R44 subway cars, which run exclusively on the SIR, is soon. Like very soon. The R211T, the design variant with open gangways, will likely come into service in 2024 or 2025. Open gangways allow passengers to walk between subway cars, which will help reduce overcrowding. So, in conclusion, it is my opinion that the R211 program is not a failure, but actually a great success. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to this guy I'm putting on screen right now for giving me the idea, and thank you for liking and subscribing. Have a great day.